Hi and welcome back to part two of our video for the squirrel. Okay, so we've got our little face done and then I'm just having a look at him now and I see that, you know, we've got a little bit of a hard line around his nose. I'm just going to soften a little bit of that, like that. Just put a little bit more paint in. So just, just fiddling around, but just try not to add too much colour, too much depth of colour rather. I just want to get, you know, this shape of his his skull where it comes in above his nose. I just want to get a little bit more of a feel of that. So I'm, I'm actually going to get a tiny bit of purple lake. Just, just to put a little bit of that in there. And then here. Just to have an idea of that, of his forehead, that dimple there, but just, just ever so soft, softly like that. And then maybe just a little bit of green as well. Just a little bit of green highlight there. And then sometimes, you know, it's just about putting it on, leaving the paint, seeing how it settles and coming back to it later. Try not to think about getting it all done in one go. Just gonna put a tiny bit of green on that side of his forehead as well. Okay, and then let's see about the rest of his face, if that's all lovely. So I'm just gonna just add a bit more color down there. And then under these ears, you know where his ears start? So you can see sort of the skull. I'm just going to put a little bit of Payne's Grey just to deepen that so we can feel that that's the skull and then that's where this, you know, his, his ears start. So just to give it a bit more light and shade. And then I'm just going to get a little bit of um, raw umber. I'm just going to bring that down the side of his face here. There, you're looking cute. So I think that's it. I'm not, we can come back and fiddle with him a little bit more. Just gonna extend that down there as well. Yeah, okay, so let's move on to doing his little body now. Um, so I've really, really abstracted the body, to be honest with you. So he's got a little bit of a white tuft here, but I mean, I can see quite a lot of green in there. Hence why I've added green. So I'm not, I'm just very, very lightly doing this now. Okay, and then there's, there's a little hand here. So this is burnt sienna. As you know, one of my favourite colours. Love orange. Okay, and I'm just going to get a little bit of my Indian red. And I'm just going to pull that down, maybe get an idea of his fluffiness. And I'm just putting a little bit of a wash in. So we'll try and get his body done and then the last part of the video can be his tail maybe. What do you think, Lou? Yeah, that's we'll run, about right. We'll run out of time, won't we? Well, we are only on three minutes. All oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to go with a bit more burnt sienna here. Okay. Just letting those colours mix. Just have fun with it. You know, if you get some cauliflowers and things, all well and good. I mean, I might, I might put a cauliflower in on his back on this one. But I'm just trying to leave... This is a bit of a highlight because he's got such a lovely shine on it. So I'm just representing it with a lighter value, lighter tone. Like that. Okay, so this has started to dry now. So I'm just going to add some more colours to it. So I've got a little bit of burnt umber. And I'm just going to add a little bit of shadowing in there for his little hand. So that's bled out, which is lovely. That, and now I'm just going to get a little bit of Payne's Grey, just add a little bit more depth of tone in there, just so it just feel like an arm. I'm just going to get a little bit more burnt sienna for the centre, and that should just bleed into those other areas like that. And I'm 
just going to soften this out as well over here. And maybe get a little bit of burnt umber. Just sort of to say that that's his little, little hand. Okay, and now let's have a bit more fun with his back. So I'm just going to get a little bit more Indian red. Um, just get a little bit more colour here and a lot more colour here. I'm just softening. I'm not putting any more colour on. I've just got a, a damp brush and I'm moving the colour that I've got on already around. So I'm just going to get some of my green, my lovely sap green. And it's quite a light pigment, it's sap green, so you, you'll never get too strong a colour with it. Just going to add a little bit of that interest in there. And I'm going to get some of my purple lake as well. I'm going to get a little bit of that on. Let's get a little bit of purple. Purple and green are a good combination. And I do use quite a lot of purple in my work, although actually as a colour I don't really like it. <laughs> so it's quite a funny thing, but... It, you know, with other colours, it's it is a great, a great tool. Okay, so that's a little back almost done. I'm just going to pop a little bit of green to indicate his lovely white fluffy chest. I don't know if you guys can see that little bit of green reflecting under his neck there. There, just a little fluffiness, and then again down here as well under his little chest. In there and now his little feet. So burnt sienna again. Are we doing all right for time, Lou? Yeah, you're on seven minutes. Oh, we might get his little tail done then. Mm. There. So I'm just going to add a little bit of burnt umber under there. His little feet. I'm just going to leave that and, and just see how it goes. So let's move on to doing his tail then, if we've got time. So I'm going to start with burnt sienna. I can't see my pencil where to do this thing. So if we go like something like that. So again, we've got this highlight on the um, squirrel there which I'm just going to represent with, with lighter tones. Okay, so I'm going to go with burnt umber now in here. Just try and have fun with it. Let all the colours blend. Try and do this bit really quickly. I'm going to get a little bit of purple. Just get a little. So pretty. With the orange and the brown, it looks really nice. Just have it up his back as well there. And then I'm just going to pop a little bit of Payne's Grey in there just to make it feel a little bit stronger, that shadowing. And just let it be. Just, just believe that the watercolour will do what it needs to do and blend those colours out for you. Try not to overwork them. Okay, let's get some green in this lovely tail. Like that. And now I'm going to go with some Indian red, which we used earlier. Just put some of that in. And then I'm going to go with some burnt umber underneath his tail as it curls round. Like that. Just going to soften that up a bit. Take a little bit more. That went too heavy. I put too much colour on. So I'm just going to put a little bit of green just to take that down a bit, just to soften it off. And I'm now I'm just adding water. So I'm just mixing the colours just with nothing on my brush apart from water. So 
just moving the curls around just so I don't have a, so many of these hard lines really. And I think I'll just get a little bit more purple in there, just in here. And should we just get a little bit more orange? Let's just redress the balance a bit because I think we're all going a little bit too crazy with the colours then. <laughs> just try and make it feel a little bit more believable. So I'm just going to get that burnt sienna in it because that's a wet environment. It'll all hopefully bleed together and look just beautiful. So just going to have to let it be and see what happens. Okay, I'm just going to grab a little bit more green. How are we doing for time, Lou? Uh, we're now on 10 minutes nearly of 11. Okay, all right, I think we're doing all right, aren't we? Okay, so I think he's done, to be honest with you. I'm just going to do some splattering. I'm going to splatter with a big lot of green. So I'm going to cover his little face. Watch out, Lou. <laughs> so I'm just going to turn the canvas because I just want it to go this way. Can you see how that splattering has gone up that wet area there and that'll just bleed out, bleach out and it'll look really beautiful. Okay, so let's just get a little bit of water on here. And I'm just going to splatter with a little bit of my um, burnt sienna there. And a little bit of my burnt sienna on his tail. Fun bit this, the spattering bit, isn't it? It does look fun. <laughs> it is fun. Okay, a little bit of um, burnt umber there. And I'm going to go a little bit of green as well. Like that. Just a little bit more there. I'm just going to mop that up. I'm going to take that off there. Uh, can you see Lulu? Can you just move in here? I've got that gorgeous bleeding there and there. It's just so lovely. How are we doing for time? Um, 12 minutes. Okay, we're under pressure now. So I'm just going to go with some paints grey and just do a big splatter of paints grey. I'll just cover him up. There, and a big splatter over here. There, and I think... He's more or less done. I'm just going to add a little bit of more tone underneath in here. I just feel like he's too... hasn't got enough shading here. So I'm just adding that. And then just tickling in that. That's better. Give him a bit more of a round feeling. And then maybe we'll just have just a couple of little bits of uh, burnt sienna, just a, this idea of a few little bits of there, of his fur. Okay, so that is it. He's done our beautiful little squirrel. I hope you enjoy doing him. And um, oh, I've realised I haven't done his whiskers. <laughs> Have we got time for whiskers on? Um, I think we'll have about enough time. <laughs> okay, so I'm just a really, really fine brush. <laughs> Tap your brush off to make sure you've got the right amount of paint on. And actually, you could do this with a brush, or of course, you could just do it with a pen. There, all done now. So that's our little squirrel. I really hope you enjoy doing him. And then um, I can't wait to see the results. Bye.